Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I just finished getting ready for the day. Nothing fancy here, my hair actually needs to be washed. I uh, haven't washed it in about three days now, so I really need to do that, but I just haven't had time. This morning, I finally have my long awaited eye appointment. It seems like it took this appointment forever to get here. I have been without my contacts, and so I've really missed them. <laughs> They're actually getting ready to head out the door now my mom's gonna go with me and sit in the car with Ray while I do that hopefully it's not gonna take you know too long but anyways the boys are not here right now they're with their dad um, they'll be here a little bit later on so yeah I just have my eye appointment this morning and then I'm not sure what else the day is gonna hold so I'm just gonna take you guys along but I just want to get on here and say good morning and I also want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video I'll be talking more details on that and sharing a code with you guys all that good stuff so stay tuned for that so I'm just gonna finish this and then we're gonna get out the door. We have about an hour drive and my appointment's in about an hour. So I will see you guys after my appointment. So on our way home from the appointment, we had a little traffic stop. Right at the traffic stop was a Dollar General. So we decided to go in and just browse. We didn't know how long traffic would be stopped. So we just went in and looked around, but they had so much beautiful home decor. Dollar General has come such a long way. They had all kinds of stuff for Halloween and fall and they were starting to put out some Christmas decor as well and they had some really cute um, farmhouse decor and they also had these really cute storage bins. I was in love with these. Used to you couldn't find this kind of stuff at the dollar store so I was excited to see those and also these beautiful metal baskets I think would be so pretty in a refrigerator with eggs but yeah I just enjoyed going in and seeing everything it's been a really long time since I have went in and just browsed at a Dollar General so yeah they had so much cute stuff I felt like a lot of this stuff you would see at like Hobby Lobby so like I said they've really come a long way but yeah I figured I would just take you guys along and do like a little shop with me And y'all, how stinking cute are these casserole dishes? I almost got one, but I held back. And then whenever we got home, I saw this turtle crossing the yard and I uh, didn't want to get too close because I knew if I did, he would go back into his shell. So I had to zoom in. Uh, I mainly got this footage for the kids. Figured I'd share it with you guys as well. All right guys, so we're home and I got my contacts. My appointment really didn't take long at all. It was like 20 minutes. I was there total. The boys are here. They just got here. So we're going to go ahead and get our school done and out of the way. I figured I would just show you guys like how I set up for the day, I guess you could say. It would be better if I could do this the night before. Um, and sometimes I do. It only takes me like a few minutes to do if I don't get to it the night before. So um, for Kane, his work only takes us like 30 minutes because he's in kindergarten. And so... I'm gonna flip you guys around so I can actually like show you guys. All right, so I use this daily with him. This is the Learn to Read with Easy Peasy. Every day he has a set of words to memorize. And then once he memorizes them, we try to like do it like three times a day, kind of spread apart throughout the day. And then once he memorizes, um, there's like a little story that he can read. And then also daily for him, we have this kinder writing book. This is also from Easy Peasy. 
and every day he has a different letter today he'll be doing letter d and like right here you can see where he will practice his letters and then he'll circle his best one but to go along with this writing usually what i'll do is i'll see what letter he's going to be doing that day and then i will go into this book i found this at walmart it was like just a few dollars but i'll usually go in here and i will find whatever letter he's doing that day find letter d and it gives him a little bit more practice with the letter then just hopping straight in you know and trying to write it it kind of lets him trace it and learn it kind of gives him a visual so every single day those are the books that he does and also like sometimes I'll go in the back of the book and I'll pull like a couple of different worksheets that he can do I also have him a subscription to hooked on phonics every day usually i'll have him do like 30 minutes of hooked on phonics on his tablet every month they'll send us like one of these new books basically what i do for him as long as he knows how to read and write and we're getting in you know a little bit of science and history sometimes he'll sit in for kai's um, science and history and of course we do Bible every day so that's his stuff then for Kai because he has four subjects we only do two a day so we've already done math we did math and reading and language arts last so today will be biology and we also will be doing history so that will be his subjects today So it was a little bit later in the afternoon when we finished school and the boys were getting hungry so I made an early dinner and like I mentioned earlier today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. We usually get HelloFresh at least once a month and we look forward to it. It's great if you're having a week where you don't want to think about grocery shopping or meal planning. You can have the recipes and all of the ingredients shipped right to your door and you don't even have to think about dinner. It's all planned out and the shopping and everything is done for you. But it's also nice if you're just stuck in a recipe rut and you're having the same things over and over and you just wanna have something new for a change, HelloFresh is great. We have loved every single meal that we have tried from them. It truly is restaurant quality food cooked right at home and it's actually a lot of fun trying new things and learning new stuff. Every time a box comes, I learn something new in the kitchen every single time. So all of the recipes come packed with all of your pre-portioned ingredients. So there's no waste. And you can also find low calorie, carb smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options. All of the meals can be prepared in under 30 minutes and they come with step-by-step -step instructions. So it's really easy for anyone to follow along. You can also choose from a new rotation of weekly recipes, including soups, chilies, and in-season fall produce. HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit service, and you can actually save up to 30% by using HelloFresh versus grocery store shopping. To get started, go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kelly's Corner. 14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping again go to hellofresh.com and use code kelly's corner 14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping so tonight we're going to be making the melty monterey jack burgers what i'm going to do first is start by washing my potatoes and then i'm going to cut those into wedges and i'm also going to thinly slice my onion To my potatoes, I'm drizzling some olive oil and then I'm going to sprinkle on the fry seasoning, also some salt and pepper, and then give those a stir. These are gonna go in the oven, and in the meantime, I'm gonna get started on my onion jam. So I'm sauteing my onion until it is translucent and golden brown.
Now I'm gonna add some balsamic vinegar and two tablespoons of sugar and I'm gonna let that simmer until it thickens up just a bit. It only took just a minute or two. I'm gonna remove those from the pan and then I'm gonna make the garlic mayo for our burgers. So it's mayo with some minced garlic, a little salt and pepper, and that's it. It's stuff like this I would never think to do and it was amazing. It took the burger to the next level and it was so simple. In my skillet, I've got the burger patties going and I have seasoned both sides with salt and pepper. And those are gonna cook for just a few minutes on each side. Just before serving, I top them with Monterey Jack cheese. I let that melt and then they are ready to go. So here's my plate. I spread some of the garlic mayo and ketchup onto the buns and then I topped the burger patty with the onion jam. It was an amazing burger and the potato wedges complemented it perfectly. Remember to get started to go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kelly's Corner 14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. And once again, thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So it's a little bit later, we got the kitchen cleaned up. The burgers were absolutely phenomenal, by the way, and they were totally worth cheating for. I would like order the low carb HelloFresh meals, but I'm the only one in my family that eats low carb, and so I don't wanna force everybody else to eat low carb, if that makes any sense. So um, I don't mind, you know, the HelloFresh being a cheat meal for me because like I said, it was totally worth it. And those burgers were absolutely delicious. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like the onion jam, but it was so good. So I am at the track. It's a little after 6.30. I wanna get a few laps in before it gets dark. Um, just to, you know, get some exercise in, some fresh air. It always does the brain and the soul good to get some fresh air. We're gonna do a few laps and then I need to go to the car wash. My car has seen better days. The inside's disgusting, the outside needs a good wash. Um, but honestly, I don't know when the inside of this car is gonna get clean. By the way, I have still not bought any more tennis shoes, so however long these last me, we'll see. So I did two laps around the track and I felt like my heels were bleeding and sure enough I got in the car and I took my shoes off and looked and both of them are bleeding so I've just I've just got to get some new shoes I'm just gonna figure out what's not gonna rub the back of my heel um, maybe like some running shoes like specified for running Maybe that'll work, we'll see, but I'm gonna go inside and do a little bit of shopping online and see if I can find any. Anyway, so my little walking got cut short. I didn't even vlog any of it because number one, there was a lot of people there, and number two, um, all I could really think about were my heels. So um, I cut it short, I went to the car wash, I got gas, and then I just came on home. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna get right down for bed. I'm gonna put the camera down for tonight, but I'll pick it back up tomorrow and we will continue this vlog, so. Anyways, good night guys, and I'll see you in the morning. So it is actually a couple of days later, and we have a Halloween party to go to tonight at some of my family's house. So I'm making the boys zombie costumes. Um, they wanted to be zombies this year. So what I did is I ordered the cheapest pack of cotton t-shirts that I could find. They didn't really have any tops already in their drawers that I wanted to destroy basically because I was gonna be cutting and staining it with paint and stuff. I didn't really want to mess up any of their stuff. So I just got like the cheapest pack of white t-shirts I could find. And I'm just taking my scissors and 
literally just damaging the t-shirt to make it look like they have just crawled out of a grave so I'm just cutting holes um, I cut up the sleeves the bottom of the shirt and I just put like blood stains on it um, I even took my handprint and I put that on there and then I went back with a little bit of brown paint and just smudged it around the t-shirt just to make it look a little dirty and dingy For their jeans they actually had some jeans that already were pretty much worn out and falling apart and so I just embraced that and I cut some holes into them and me and Kane we made them look dingy he got in on it he was having a lot of fun I just cut some holes stained it with some red paint and I know I'm not a professional it probably could have been like 10 times better but I was just winging it and I think I did pretty good and they loved it so that's really all that matters I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide So like I said, we're going to a Halloween party tonight and I'm taking meatballs. So I'm sure you guys have seen this recipe before, but it's the barbecue grape jelly meatballs. They are so, so good. They're always my favorite thing at any kind of party. Um, so you just need some frozen meatballs and then I do equal parts grape jelly and barbecue sauce. So I'm just using a crock pot liner for easy cleanup and these will cook on low for about three hours, but they're really easy and they're always a big hit. So before I get the kids ready, I kind of saved them for last because I needed to paint their face and put fake blood on them. And I didn't really want them walking around the house with that on them and possibly getting it on the furniture. <laughs> so I saved them for last. In the meantime, I went ahead and got myself ready. I, I couldn't decide like what kind of Halloween makeup that I wanted to do on myself. So I just decided to do like a more dramatic look on my makeup so i did like a darker look which i never do just give that dark halloween look but that's all i pretty much did for myself i just dramatized my makeup and then i decided to curl my hair so you guys will have to let me know in the comments below when you get ready do you do your hair or your makeup first which comes first i feel like if i do my makeup first that whenever i go to do my hair 
my hair looks better. For some reason, if I don't do my makeup first, I feel like my hair doesn't look right. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and do my makeup and that helps me to feel like my hair looks better like it's supposed to, I guess. I don't know if that's even making any sense, but that's why I do my makeup first. So let me know in the comments down below, hair or makeup first. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, we seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words we be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. And y'all, I've had this hair wand for 12 or 13 years. It's a really old hair wand. I actually need a new one because it's got a short in it, but it still works, so I'm still using it. But yeah, I just ran through and did like some beachy curls in my hair and I caught it good. I put a little bit of texturizing and hairspray in it and that was it. But yeah, I just have on my friend's t-shirt from Bill Lily. It's got all of like the main horror movie characters and then I have on my jeggings from Walmart and that was my OOTD for the Halloween party. Everybody takes a bag of candy and then whenever we get there we distribute the bags among goodie bags and each kid will get a bag to take home and then we all just bring like a soup or something to eat dessert but we had a bell pepper soup and then we had a chicken noodle soup the bell pepper soup is amazing and so is the chicken noodle soup it's my favorite i've made it several times on my channel so yeah the boys loved their zombie costumes and forgot to get a clip of ray in her halloween costume so i will pop up a picture here so you guys can see anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out hello fresh i will have that link and discount code down below for you guys i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you next time bye